fantastic game. A lot of commitments from the players. They have shown character. And uh, the supporters are behind the team. From the blast of the whistle up to the end of the match. I think I can use also this opportunity or medium to congratulate Nigerian that definitely we have a team that we can rely upon. No, you know, um, as far as uh, football pitch in Africa is concerned, it is not only Goswell Apabio Stadium, it's almost everywhere in the continent. And um, the performance is wasn't bad enough. If you look at the, the commitments of the players, even if we don't have pitch of that nature, I have so much belief and confidence that the team is going to triumph over any team that comes to Nigeria. Uh, we have, uh, if you look at the, the, the array of stars that we have in the team, if you look at their age, if you look at their commitment, it's for Nigerians to be patient. You know, like Igalo, uh, he was, he was right off when we played in the World Cup. His performance is not, uh, wasn't enough for the Nigerian to, to cheer him up. But now he bounced back. You can get a star player in a match, but you can't be a star player in every 90 minutes. So I think it's a gradual process. He bounced back. He's at the top of his game. I will advise the players to maintain the tempo, the technical crew of the team also to look at the gray areas, go back to drawing board where we have problem to fix it before the match and in Tunis. And if the team maintain this type of uh, commitment and standard of the game, I have so much belief and confidence that the team are going to get, uh, uh, we are going to take away the three points from them so that we can remain at the zenith of the table comfortably without any problem. I have so much confidence this team is going to continue making Nigerians proud and definitely a lot of people will learn from the team. That's okay.